tra la la why don't you sing with me? tra la la tri li li tre le le Finally, I found you, sons. Where have you been? You've disappeared this early morning without telling me. And do you know what time it is now? I was worried sick. <laughs> sons! Oh dear, your skull is boiling hot. Perhaps. Worry not, brother. I, the great Papyrus, will help you. Get out of my way! I am back, brother. <clears throat> there, there. How did you get sick? Maybe it's my fault that I forced you to patrol certain areas, isn't it? That was so... Uh, Imperex and bro. Uh, uh, but nah, weather got me. You could tell that. Let me guess. Hmm? The cold was fast, but you were faster and caught it. Well, uh, oh boy. Okay, she so got me. But yeah, well, I wasn't fast enough to cook a joke. You're just sick. I'm sure that when you're better, you'll annoy me with your puns again. Just get well soon, okay? So keys, bro. All right, then I'll let you get some rest. If you need something, I would be downstairs cooking dinner. But eventually, I will leave the door open. Sans? 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 Where are you going? Sans? Mom? Is something wrong with Sans? Papa? Sans? Yeah. <laughs> Sans? What a terrible dream. So, since yesterday, I've been keeping an eye socket on him, and it seemed that his fever didn't want to break away, despite my efforts. But no matter what kind of sickness it is, I want to help him at all costs. He did so many things in life, so much support. Honestly, by the look of it, it did give me some terrifying memories. I was only a toddler when it happened. I still remember that day, wouldn't he? Wait, no, no, no. There's no time to think about that. Focus, Papyrus, focus. You're the great Papyrus, after all. Sometimes I really hate to admit, but every time I check on his condition, his gibberish mumble gives me the creeps. Down to the bone. <laughs> uh, uh, maybe it's just those ill monsters that usually spit all nonsense things. But maybe it's just me. I shall check on him again later. There, there. So he's mom is here. Hey, my dear Sansi, don't cry. It, it, it hurts. I know, I know. I'm deeply sorry for everything, my precious child. Don't leave me alone. Oh, I won't. Mom is here to protect you. Don't be scared. Everything will be okay, Sanzi. Trust me. Mom will be here when you wake up. Hey, bro. Look, I've prepared something really good for your health. I found this recipe from the cookery book. I followed every step of it. It was useful, so this should make you feel better any time soon. Not hungry. Sorry, but thanks. Maybe later. Oh, well. So tasty. The first days were a painful struggle in seeing my big bro like that almost killed. No appetite and sleep all day. What's the fun in that? To tell the truth, I've never felt more responsible than ever in my life. Aside training to be a royal guard. If Sans were me, what would he have done if I were sick? Take him to the doctor? Ah, I just want him to get better as soon as possible. 
so, so tired. I don't think I will make it. <laughs> Hello? Sub nerdy. You were supposed to assist at some of the important training sessions in the past few days, but you showed no signs of life. Is everything fine? Oh, I, I, I'm so sorry about that. Sons got a bit sick, and I needed to be there to make sure. Wait, Sons? That punny punk, right? Same one from the Sentry Post? I mean, sick! Mm, yes. Fair enough. Finally, more news about his condition. All right, thanks for letting me know. Talk to you later, nerdy. He is sick? Since when? Is he feeling well? Beats me. But Papyrus said he got a cold. From the bad weather. And he sleeps a lot. Is it normal? Eh, I suppose. Poor him. What? Why do you still care about that skeleton? Oh, well, seeing monsters being sick is my biggest weakness. Sorry about that. <laughs> Maybe I should have mentioned that earlier. Oh, that's understandable. But since I always wanted to beat him up and make him pay in the first place, he totally deserved that anyway. Huh? I'm dying? Isn't that obvious? After all, he played a stupid prank on you. When I met you two for the first time, I immediately knew that dating a comedian was a bad idea after all. T true that, but hey, it happened a long time ago. I was a bit silly naive back then, but I already moved on. Please forget about that. Sure thing. Sorry for the sudden distress. That was never my intention. I just want to protect my best buddies, especially my fave nerd. <laughs> I know, Undyne. Oh dear, still again. I fear that this situation won't turn out well. If... if... Hey, Al? Yes? Do you still remember the story told by Gerson? The one about those real stars? Those white dots or whatever they are? Oh, yes. Can't wait to see that with my eyes. Not until we gather enough souls up and break that stupid barrier. <laughs> mm. Poor souls. Um, Malthus? I... I'm really sorry about earlier. I sincerely didn't mean it, but you know me. I just don't like comedians at all. Forgive me if I screwed things up. Again. It's fine. I'm just uh, tired. Oh, gotcha. Should we get going then? Oh, no, no, no. Let's enjoy stargazing a little bit more. You know, I barely had time for that beautiful view. Agree. That's my girl. Me neither. <laughs> Meanwhile. Well. Oh boy, so much to catch up with meals. <laughs> mm, how so delicious. Oh, my, <clears throat> my. Still sneaky as usual. <coughs> <laughs> hey, hey there. Machubi, Sanzi. It's not real. It's not real. It's not. Sans? Oh, uh, you there. Perhaps. You should have knocked knocked first. What? Uh, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to startle you, but I thought you were sleeping. Already walking around and having some dinner at the late hour. You could have asked me first, though, about the sandwich. So keys, bro. I can still make another. Leave it to me. No biggie. <sighs> All right. How are you feeling today? You're acting like nothing happened. A little butter, I guess. Although still weak, because I salamied too much. Yeah. <laughs> you and your unbelievable army of food puns! See you in the morning! Sorry, I couldn't resist. 
But no worries, I am still punished till I am fully recovered. If my puns get terrible all of a sudden, call the ambulance. <laughs> anyway, good night, bro. Don't let the bread bugs bite ya. Oh my god! <laughs> what was that exactly? Am I starting to have hallucinations? For real? Or just a mere side effect of sickness. Well, let us eat something, or else I'll earn the title of Bonehead. <laughs>